Dr. Henry Ozid. All right, Michael, here's that video we made for the public, uh, public image restoration campaign. Now, I'm going to have to warn you, this video isn't going to be, well, easily understandable. Michael Handler. Wait, what does that mean? It's got to be good enough for the public, Henry, so it should be fairly easy to comprehend. Dr. Ozid. Well, we want to make it more oriented towards a younger audience, so we tried to make it a little uh, cooler, like with memes and slang and stuff. Mr. Handler. Oh god, I'll see. But you know, I of all people can't understand this generation any more than anyone else. Dr. Ozid. Look, you have my office number. Just give me a ring if anything stands out, alright? Mr. Handler. Fine, fine. See you later. Mr. Handler walks back into the PR office and takes a seat at his desk. He carefully inserts the flash drive Dr. Ozid gave him into his computer and installs its contents. A single file called KICWYHDATSCPF.mp4 appears on his desktop. Sighing, he clicks on it and the video starts. An instrumental version of Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley begins playing as an animated SCP logo spirals into the center of the screen. The text, keeping it chill with your homies down at the SCP Foundation, sparkles into view around the logo. The screen fades into an outdoor setting, with a heavily graffitied brick wall in the background. Two men enter from either edge of the screen, wearing baggy lab coats over colorful t-shirts, alongside athletic shorts, Nike socks and sneakers, and most notably, generic blue baseball caps worn with the rims facing backwards. Dr. Chandler Wentworth What's up, party people? I'm Foundation Researcher Chaz Wentworth. Site Director Douglas Robertson And I'm his friend Bobby Doug. And together we are... Dr. Robertson and Dr. Wentworth cross their arms and lean against each other, facing out towards the camera and either side of the screen. Both in unison. The, the super cool, cool peeps! peeps. A cartoon Boeing sound effect is audible. Dr. Wentworth Today, Bobby Doug and I want to talk to you dope freaking meme lords about a lit organization made to keep all of you safe and able to go about your normal lives. Director Robertson That's right, Chaz. A lot of people have been saying some mean things about SCP that makes us very sad. But we want to tell you that it's all a bunch of yucky baloney. In fact, let me tell you guys a secret. The SCP Foundation has stopped the world from ending over 9,000 times. Dr. Wentworth How crazy cool is that? It makes me want to... Both in unison. Hit, Hit that, that da, 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 da dab Director Robertson and Dr. Wentworth each make their own shabby attempt at executing a popular dance move known as the dab, wherein the performer points their flattened palms face down and out to one direction allowing their outermost armpit to come in contact with the lowered face. Director Robertson Yeet! Dr. Wentworth Yeet! Mr. Handler pauses the video. Turning his swivel chair towards the phone, he dials Dr. Ozid's office number. The phone rings three times before Dr. Ozid picks up. Dr. Ozid Hello, this is Dr. Henry Ozid, Site 96 General Research and Containment. Mr. Handler Hi Henry, it's Michael. Dr. Ozid. Oh, hey Michael. Did you take a look at that video yet? Mr. Handler. That's what I'm doing right now, and uh, what the hell? Is this some kind of joke? They just did like a dab or something? And now they're both going yeet or whatever that is? Isn't that a cuss word? Dr. Ozid. I don't think so. Let me look it up. Dr. Ozid can be heard typing something into his keyboard. Dr. Ozid. Okay, I looked it up. It says yeet means to discard an item at high velocity. Mr. Handler. What? But Chandler and Douglas both just like said it randomly without any context? This has to be coherent if we want to release it to the public. Dr. Ozid. Look, you know our intern Barry? He's 19. He knows what he's doing. He said kids these days just say yeet all the time by itself. So whatever, you know? Mr. Handler. All right, I trust you, Henry. Talk to you soon. Dr. Ozid. Bye, Michael. Mr. Handler hangs up and unpauses the video. Director Robertson. 
But seriously, squad, the SCP Foundation tries finna hard to make everyone on Earth safer by containing dangerous or weird stuff. Dr. Wentworth, of course, that doesn't mean weird is a bad thing, but we wouldn't want something anomalous walking around, would we? Director Robertson, whoa there, Chaz. Epic use of the word anomalous. Do you kids know what anomalous means? I could tell you myself, but I think I have a very good friend who would love to tell you instead. Come on in, 999. Dr. Ozid, wearing a large foam costume reminiscent of SCP-999, shambles on screen. Dr. Ozid, Hiya, kids. I'm SCP-999, and I love helping people. I want to help you by teaching you a big word. Anomalous. That's A-N-O-M-A-L-O-U-S. Something is anomalous when it does not follow the general rules of normal society. Now, would a criminal be considered anomalous since they do not follow the rules? Certainly. However, we're using it to mean something a little different. Here, the word anomalous means something that doesn't make any sense. Like myself. I am anomalous because I am a living blob of slime. Dr. Wentworth. Wow, that's a thick description, 999. Thanks so much for coming. Dr. Ozid. Oh, my pleasure, Chan. I mean, uh, Chaz. Dr. Ozid turns and begins to walk off screen. In the process, a large chunk of foam breaks off of the costume and lands on the floor. A cartoon bonk sound effect plays. He quickly bends down to remove it and falls forward. The same bonk sound is audible. Director Robertson helps him up and ushers him out of the viewing area. Mr. Handler pauses the video. He places his forehead into his palm and takes a series of deep breaths. After about a minute, he sits back up and unpauses the video. Director Robertson. Now that you know what anomalous means, let's talk a little about some of the anomalous things we have at the Foundation, and why our work is so savage. I mean, we could contain Slenderman. We could contain Dame de Cosita. We could even contain Big Chungus. Chaz, what's your dopest favorite SCP? Dr. Wentworth. Bobby, I know just a thing. Last Thursday, I was in charge of a monthly event with SCP-4252 one of the resident anomalies here at Site-96. SCP-4252 is this wacky room full of, you won't believe this, baked beans. The room fills up with baked beans every month, and then we summon a magical bean leprechaun with a spell. And wanna know the craziest part? He eats all the beans right there and then. If that isn't an r slash dank meme, then I don't know what is. Director Robertson Ah, that's hot, Chaz. Totally fire. But sadly, fam, a lot of the anomalies we keep are actually hecka mean, and that makes us feel no me gusta. Our biggest job is to keep you all safe from them, but for some reason, haters keep trollo lolling us by saying we are bad and we should destroy our company, and it just makes us want to do surgery on a grape. Dr. Wentworth. But here's the thing, home slices. We actually do a ton of great things for humanity as a whole. We eradicated dysentery, kept a fungal disaster from spreading, and we've trapped countless monsters who, without our help, would probably be going sicko mode on our tushies. Director Robertson. Now, I think it's time we talk about the thing you all want to know about. And no, it's not Fortnite. It's our very own D-Class boys. Here at the SCP Foundation, we get help from our epic D classes to test out the anomalous effects of various creatures and places that we want to know more about. In fact, we have someone you might want to meet. Come on out! A man in an orange jumpsuit walks slowly onto screen and stands in between Director Robertson and Dr. Wentworth. He is visibly uncomfortable. D-411 Uh, hi. I'm D-411, but you can call me Glenn. I, uh, I used to be a bad guy. I stole a bunch of stuff and injured some people trying to escape, but I got caught. I was in jail for four years before the SCP Foundation offered me a job. I've been here for like two weeks, and, uh, it's better than jail. 
Other than taking a science test and talking to some old dude in the bathroom, I've just been chilling. Dr. Wentworth. D411, is your life sweet now that you've become a D-class personnel? D411. I mean, I guess. You know, I'm still not free, but at least I feel like I have a purpose, you know? Director Robertson. Terrific. Well, thanks for Netflix and chilling with us, D411. That was really swag of you. D411. Yeah, okay. Whatever. D411 exits. Simultaneously, a slight whistle is heard moving up, and then back down. Mr. Handler pauses the video. He opens Internet Explorer and types the phrase Netflix and chill into the search bar. After loading for 20 seconds, a definition appears at the top of the browser. Netflix and chill is an internet slang term used either as an invitation to watch Netflix together or as a euphemism for sexual activity, either as part of a romantic partnership or as casual sex or as a groupie invitation. Mr. Handler shakes his head in disapproval. He scribbles something down on a sticky note before unpausing the video. Director Robertson. How la epic is that? D-class personnel are actually treated great at the SCP Foundation. We take them out of prisons where they don't want to be and let them stay with us as long as they help with a few science experiments. Dr. Wentworth. And yes, sometimes the experiments are dangerous, but we do them because we want you dope peeps to be chilling on Earth for a long, long time. And if we didn't have our D-friends to test stuff for us, we might not have enough information to keep everyone safe. A 1940s cartoon era Awuga sound effect is audible. Director Robertson. Well, fam, that's our cue to leave you guys alone. But I hope you dudes and doodads keep everything we said in mind. And remember, as long as you focus hard and get a lot done, you too can save the world. Dr. Wentworth and Director Robertson wave at the screen as it fades to black. Mr. Handler takes a moment to unpack what he just watched. He reaches for the phone, but stops himself. Turning back to his computer, he opens his email and checks the project deadline. Sunday, April 22nd, by 4 p.m. Mr. Handler looks at the bottom right corner of his screen. 3.42 p.m., 4.22. Mr. Handler sighs. He reaches under his desk and pulls out a half-empty bottle of scotch and a glass. He pours himself a shot, drinks it, and presses send. End of file. To learn more about the SCP Foundation, subscribe to SCP Orientation today and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any of our videos.